Although Earth can seem small while talking about topics like space exploration, the truth is that there's many areas we've yet to explore. Incredibly, scientists have announced that 65% of our planet remains unexplored. This means these areas could be hiding untouched civilizations. Just recently with things like LiDAR, we've discovered hidden worlds beneath the jungle canopy, hiding large structures such as pyramids, ancient highways along with complex systems that would have been used by our ancestors. There's also many that believe we share our land with mysterious creatures, some of which have been described in old documents. Every so often someone will allegedly encounter these mysterious creatures, leading researchers to take the report seriously, and even follow up with investigations and interviews in order to get to the bottom of what the eyewitness encountered. One recent video was posted online, and it shows a woman filming a tree. She can be heard in the background saying, can you see it? before she quickly pans to the tree where there looks to be a large humanoid. Those who have seen the footage have said it looks like the woman is at a higher elevation, and that something in the nearby tree caught her attention, causing her to pan the camera towards it. What's odd about this footage is that normally when you see these clips of Bigfoot, they're either hiding behind a tree or in dense areas where it's hard to make out what's going on but this has to be one of the first times that a Bigfoot-like creature has been caught climbing a tree. Many notice that it looks like the creature is frozen in place, almost as if it's trying to keep still. One of the issues is that it's hard to make out how far away it is, but some have said in terms of Bigfoot footage it's actually pretty clear, and that we can see that there's definitely something that appears to be halfway up the tree. One viewer said they zoomed in on one of the stills and said they could make out a face. One user had this to say. My time with the Bigfoot Research Organization and spending countless hours researching this phenomenon has made me realize that far too many people are focused on the ground when they should be looking above them. In my opinion, there's a reason why people report that these creatures suddenly disappear or that footprints seemingly vanish into nowhere. It's not a coincidence. I think that the reason for this is because these creatures are using the trees. This helps to explain how they're able to get around so quickly, and why tracks and things vanish. End quote. Another user said this, I can definitely make something out there. This is an interesting one as it doesn't look like your typical grainy footage of a man in a suit. Also, I'm not sure how you'd go about faking something like this. Would someone really go through the effort of climbing a tree and placing a Bigfoot cut out there, just to fool people on the internet? End quote. After these photographs were uploaded, many people started to come forward with their own stories saying that there's been various instances where they felt like they've seen something in the trees. Those who don't believe in the creature have said that sightings like these can easily be explained as things like bears or pareidolia, detailing that from far away holes in trees can take on the appearance that something is there when it isn't. Pareidolia is often used to explain away sightings like this, with people saying that hikers can sometimes be in these environments, and that subconsciously they can be thinking of Bigfoot, and this makes their mind actively look for anything that would match the overall description of the creature. Believers though have said that investigations have shown that these creatures are very elusive, and note it was only in 1902 that we discovered the mountain gorilla, and said this is proof that large apes can go undetected in dense areas. Interestingly, over the years there's been a number of theories surrounding how these creatures came to be. One of the first major theories surrounding the origin of the creature seems to center around a number of research efforts made by the United States and Soviet Union in the attempt to create a human-Z hybrid for the purpose of military applications. Back in 1910, research scientist Arla Ivanovich Ivanov believed that he could create a super-species of humanity that utilized the physical strength, constitution, and ability of the aim, but added with the intelligence of a modern-day human being. 
This was said to be accomplished by finding some way to merge the two species through the use of force impregnation to give birth to this superior human Z army. The scientists first began his studies in the Soviet Union, but found that the genetic differences between humans and primates was too great to ever yield a potential pregnancy. Shortly after, the project was said to be a failure. In the modern day, however, gene editing and other practices make it more than possible to splice DNA to create a human Z hybrid, and given the United States' past actions concerning ex-Soviet projects, it's believed that the United States military may have continued the research. On April 15th, 2021, a research paper published in Cell Journal detailed the successful growth of monkey embryos that contain human cells. The research procedure led from the Stork Institute for Biological Studies in Ojola, California, so scientists inject monkey embryos with human stem cells. This could be the origin of the creature, and explain the large amount of sightings throughout North America and South America that only tend to grow in numbers since the 1900s and onwards. However, this doesn't explain early sightings of the creature. As of right now, hundreds of reports are coming in every year, leaving investigators to say that the creature is still very much alive. So what do you make of these interesting photographs? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.